don't get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. This what a BMG niggas do. They get big racks, you feel me? You already know BMG got this city hot. And that's a fact. You got the city hot. Foul. Don't fuck around. What's good, Stella? It's your boy Blast, and you are now tuned into the Realist Reactor channel on YouTube. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. A lot of y'all probably been asking where I'm at, man. I've been doing a whole lot of different shit. My birthday months, Christmas, gotta be buying gifts, taking. Doing a whole lot of shit, so if you mean I took a little time off and shit. But anyway, a lot of y'all probably seen it and probably didn't seen it. So whoever never seen it yet, go check my shit out. That you heard, if you like it, really go check it out. Leave a like, leave a comment. You know I don't really care. Some people gonna hate, some people gonna show love. You know what I mean, some people might not genuinely might not like it, and and that's okay too. You feel me? But if you do like it, leave a like. Comment some positivity in the, in the in the comment section if you see something that you don't like about it. And I mean, I'm I'm open to be criticized too because shit, nigga, public figure. So people gonna criticize, people gonna have opinions on me all day now. So at the end of the day, I gotta be able to deal with that. So if you don't like the song, I mean, you could say you don't like the song also, but it's not what you do. It's how you do it anyway. You feel what I'm saying? So go show some love. If you rock with it, you rock with it. If you don't, you don't. You know what I mean, I ain't mad at you. But anyway, I'm a reacting to Finn Cobain and 268 y'all moving tact. So let's get straight into it and see what these boys gotta say, man. Really see a problem with this shit. This shit sounds exactly like his song Heavy on it. It's the same cadence, the same flow, everything sounds the same already, you feel me? Like I was talking about when I did the busy reaction, I said he don't want to be a Fetty Wap type of rapper where you sound the same on every track and people get tired of you and want to really listen to your shit like that no more. Even though you're a good artist and you make good songs, once people feel like they listen to the same shit over and over, they're not really going to want to be in tune and shit, you feel me? This shit sounds like heavy on it. Like, literally heavy on it. <laughs> it sounds like it. Wait, in the city with King in the trap? Right. Huh? I'm with this shit, I'm pretending. My body different, send me a Addy, I'm bending. Wait, don't get it twisted, baby, they jack in the fender. Bring me a victim, she wanna suck on his treasure. No, it's a thing, I need a pack. I'm on the wall, when niggas jack. See? Pack. He's saying a lot of things that he said in heavy on it, you know. In heavy on it, he was like, I need a pack, yep, shoot him moving on tight. Or I got a pack, yep, shoot him moving on tight, yep, for now he doing damage. You feel me? Heavy on it was a good song. I did a reaction to that a couple months back. I definitely liked that song. That was a very good song. I really rock with that song. Like, genuinely like that shit. Played in my car. All of that shit, you feel me? But this sounds too much like heavy on it to me so far. I haven't heard AR, but so far it sounds like heavy on it. I gotta go, we in the back, a lot of smoke, and that's a fact I'm gonna smoke, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna get a poke, everything green I mean a go, it's gonna be I like that chain, how they got the little cash app shit at the, the top of that shit, that's dope That was, that was some creative shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Little homie chain is fire, that's, that's dope I'm gonna get a poke, everything green, I mean a go, it's gonna be I'm gonna get smoke, I'm gonna get the game, I mean a go It's my music only for the dogs, give a fuck if it's playing in clubs Down brown sweatsuit for the job, Neva this nigga is a very arrogant kid, bro. He's very, very arrogant. You feel me? It can be a good thing for him as his for his career, and it can also be a bad thing for him. You feel me? See how he said his music is for the thugs, fuck if he's playing in clubs. At the end of the day, if you want to be a rapper and you're spending money, you're investing money in studio time, and you want to be a rapper, it should got to be played in clubs because that's how you're going to make money. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the thugs that you talking about, 90% of them niggas ain't buying none of your music at all. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So, 
You got to you know what I mean? You got to get on that on that right track. You see, you did the right thing when you made your own YouTube channel and shit. And your shit going up and you making revenue off your shit right now. That was smart. Now, this is another gem I'm giving you. Nigga, make that music that could play in clubs too, man. I said, keys to the plug, them kids doing drugs, that's how I got a buzz. Let now everybody show love, big bees and them blunts, nigga lose a lung. I don't work cause that boy's a punk, swear to God, I'ma blow like propane. Doing drugs, give me fame like cocaine. You got fuck things, you should've said no names. Been the blocks, give me aim, nigga. I caught that shit, I caught it, but it's, it's, it's calm. It's not all that. I can make drop that, that independent I drop what I want. Now I can see by him saying that bar, it goes back to what I said earlier. I see where he coming from, where he's saying this shit, independent, he drop what he want. But at the end of the day, that thing with niggas saying in the hood, being independent and shit, it ain't beneficial to you if you don't have a, a core fan base that's gonna make you be able to sell and make you do a lot of streams. If you're not, if you don't have that type of fan base, then it's better for you to have a label because the label will help you with the streams and all that type of shit. And not I mean get you shows and get you paid more and shit like that. Being independent, you know I mean you could get all the views in the world. You know I mean the only thing you might get is the the YouTube check from your views. And nine times out of ten, the type of music you make. It's going to yellow mark you, so you're not even going to make that much money off your videos because the shit you say in the song and the guns showing in some of the songs and shit like that is going to yellow mark you. So now you're making less money off your music and shit. I'm giving niggas free game. Niggas can take it or niggas can leave it. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just giving niggas free game because I want to see niggas win. <laughs> Son over there was 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 this nigga um was this nigga name son that he just did the feature with um I forgot this nigga name son the Spanish nigga I forgot his name but y'all gonna know what I'm talking about I, I thought son was yeah ABG Nil I thought son right here self I don't need no supporters so they want me to be she gorgeous rub her on cause I can't be the father real niggas gon' lie to your honor make a nigga scared if he trust that brother I mean you with the people the back Track. Other than the fact that it sound like heavy on it, it was a good track. Cause at the end of the day, heavy on it was a good track. But I'm just trying to show niggas if niggas gonna be making songs and niggas making songs that sounds like they old songs or they other songs like too similar. Of course, I, as a rapper, you have certain things that you say and you're gonna say it again in another song because it's like it becomes like a slogan for you or it becomes you know like a like a trademark or some shit that you normally say. I mean that's cool. But when you're making songs and your song sound exactly like the other song. You know what I'm saying? You you, you kind of showing people, like, basically, like, I'm a one-hit wonder. I'm not able to make another hit unless I try to make another song that sounds like my only hit. You know what I'm saying? Basically. And 
I'm saying the things that people are scared to say. So when I tell y'all this, I be wanting all you rappers to know. When I tell y'all these things, it's just to make niggas better. It ain't to take shots at niggas. It ain't to hurt niggas' feelings. It ain't to do none of that shit. It's to better niggas at the end of the day. A lot of people want to say the things, same thing I'm saying. And it is crazy. The same thing they think, and I say it, then they act like they going against what I say. It's just like people be all messed up in the head right now with, with, with all the social media shit. But anyway, as far as the song goes, I give it an eight. But I just don't like the fact that it sounds like heavy on it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all comment in the comment section below and let me know if y'all feel like I rated it too high or rated it too low. It's your barber class. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Goodbye. If you're not subscribed to Stella Gang yet, what you waiting for? Come on, join the squad, man. Stella Gang got the city hot. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you notified every time I drop a new video, man. BMG got the city hot. Y'all niggas know what's going on, man.